Checker, the best source for downloadable and independent games in the universe. I'm Anthony, and the underwear I've got on gives me a plus three to charisma. Ladies. Today we're taking a look at Toby's vertical adventure for the PC and... What the what? Oh my god, it's Nick! Who? Uh, he works for us? Shouldn't you have a latte for me then? He looks like shit. Hey, you look like shit, buddy. Oh my god, this... Because he's been turned into a little pirate ghost! No, you idiot! You zombie! Run! Great. Pirate ghosts. They're zombies. It's just what I needed. This is... No, I don't want free mochi coins. This is Bite Jacker. Get it? It's like Bite Jacker, but with an I instead of a Y. So, let's just get started, I guess. I have only used this guy, but he's alright, so I'll just use him again. How do I... there you go. We're supposed to survive. These different... yeah. So we're supposed to survive, shoot zombies, surprise, surprise. Do you help survivors, which that sounds incredibly lame. And you get items. It's always fun. You get achievements, and they actually increase your stats and skills and all that crap. And yeah, you take lots of damage, you get more health. Doesn't necessarily make sense, but whatever. And the Groundhog Curse is a very odd mechanic. So yeah, we have ten days and they loop. But we have to kill... We've released the bosses by getting lots of money and stuff. I don't really know what happens after day 10. I'm not... I don't particularly get this mechanic yet. So yeah, we want to release the bosses. Then we kill the bosses. And then we get more bosses. And then once we kill more bosses, then we get another set of bosses. And then you kill them and you get more bosses to kill. It's pretty... It's a pretty complex system there. Um, follow me. Buddy. Yeah, there you go. When I say follow me, well, you probably don't know. Because you're in the game. But still, you should probably actually do something. So, you don't have a weapon, do you, buddy? Or maybe you do and you're just, like, not doing anything. Okay, let's run. Yeah, those shiny things mean that's a search point, and you should probably go search it. And annoyingly enough, coins are only around for a short while, so actually getting them is kind of difficult sometimes. At least they are when you have a total crap gun. Out of my way, zombies. Hey, don't hurt my person thing. Well, I guess I'm not getting that item. I'm getting this one, though. Screw you guys. I want it. Wow, I am incredibly slow at getting items. But I guess I'm glad I can grab items while shooting, while holding a gun with both hands. I can pick stuff up. And why did that randomly explode? I didn't shoot any propane tanks. Hey, hey, hey. Whoa, whoa. You leave my buddy here alone. He's helpless and stupid. Like most people in zombie games. Except for the main character. Oh hey, sweet. My gun is actually better. Except when it has to reload. Look at that, now I can actually kill stuff. Let's go get that other item now that my gun doesn't suck. Yay. Oh hey, 300 bucks, that's not bad. Hooray, Lucky Dimes are awesome. They're also apparently worth $300. That's pretty impressive. So yeah, once you get all the items and the survivors, you can probably just leave. You can also... Oh, right, my awesome meter Let's wait for some more zombies. Don't get hurt. Come on. Then you press space bar. And activate double rainbow! Aw, oh, yeah. Oh. It's pretty short. You can kill tons of stuff with it. And I have another one built up. I'm not sure if they transfer to the next 
level you play, so I'm just gonna waste it. Wee. Dude, are you kidding me? Double green. Ah! Don't murder me. Hey! Dumbass! Follow me! Thank you. Oh no, you're walking into burst pace! I can't keep up! Oh hey, I've got a reload thingy. Hooray. E for action. Hooray. Yeah, my action is like a melee kick. Yeah, rescue the VIP. Let's see if I can actually buy anything. Kind of doubt it. I can buy armor piercing bullets, but I don't really care. I should probably get... I can't get health. 15%. Wow, I should not have gotten hit. Health is extremely expensive. Let's see our progress. It's probably nothing at all. Yeah, that's pretty much nothing. We got a reload thingy, though, so our reload is quicker. And let's just continue on. Let's shoot some more people in the face. By people, I mean zombies. Oh, hey, he follows me through the levels. Which is kind of annoying, because he's completely useless. But whatever. Oh, hey, this is two items I'm searching. Oh, hey, propane tank. Boom. Goodbye. Hey, shotgun. Oh, thanks for disappearing, money. I'm very glad that in real life, money doesn't just magically disappear once it's on the ground for eight seconds. No, it's not even eight seconds, it's like... three. Also, what kind of zombie doesn't destroy zombies in one hit when they're really close up? A lame shot. Hey! Leave him alone. Hey! Die already! For Pete's sake. It would be awesome if the shotgun actually killed things. It doesn't, but it would be awesome. Oh, hey, Survivor. Um, you leave that old lady alone. Um, activate awesome meter Don't murder civilians, please, zombies. I know it's really the only thing you do, but, uh, stop it. Hey, what did I just say? You guys are jerks. Freaking zombies never listen. Ooh, items. Items are always good. Except when they suck. Hey! Do you... Yeah, they don't move... The survivors don't move to safety. So you want to sort of get them over in the right direction. Now, if you pace in place, they'll actually follow your exact location. So do I have to shoot the stuff to... Hey! Chill out there. I said chill out there. Stop being everywhere. Stupid on present zombies. So how do I get through this? Do I have to search everything first, or what? There we go. Finally get in here. Shoot you in the face. Face has been shot. Um, old lady. Yeah. Like in pretty much every zombie game ever, all of the civilians that you help are completely and pathetically incompetent. Oh, I see what we're doing here. So yeah, they will do absolutely nothing to keep themselves alive, aside from follow you. Don't kill them, please. There we go. Anthony got through day two. We made some monies. We've rescued a pathetic old person. And my pal, who's a moron. Doesn't really help. Oh hey, we have a fair amount of money. Ammo plus one mag. I think this is all temporary crap, so I don't particularly want to buy it. I guess I should buy health, though. Oh, I drag it over here. Not sure if that was worth it, but whatever. I'm not sure if you get, like, a machine gun. Like, I got a level 2 machine gun. I don't think it transferred over. Oh, and if you notice, the uh, gun icons are from Contra. The yeah, little M up in the top left corner there. Come here, items. Oh, hey. Healing in a box. Combatant. Oh, hey. Figures. That skull means someone died because they were a moron. And by moron, I mean I didn't get them fast enough. But that's sort of lame because I was searching the items. It's like I would have had to just completely ignore the items and come came back. Actually, I'm going to go search very quickly for survivors. 
Oh, wait, there are survivors. That's good. Kind of. Hey, stop dying. You are a moron. Okay. Hey, one of them actually has a gun. And one of them is Michael Jackson. <laughs> it's kind of awesome. Um, hey. You leave Michael Jackson alone. So I guess the strategy you want is to just get all of your survivors really quick because they're really stupid and they don't live for very long at all. And then get the items that you actually want because unlike the survivors, they actually help. I think I was missing some more stuff, but let's get this first. Um, buddy. Ammo plus one, I'm not sure what that means. Oh well. Oh, I guess the, uh, the good weapons have a limited amount of ammo, but the base machine gun has infinite rounds, so you can see in the top left. I'm not sure what that guy is saying, but he says some sort of thing. Oh, it's when your awesome meter fills up. It's when they say stuff. I wonder if blowing that up would hurt me. It hurts zombies, though. There we go. Uh, guys. Yeah. I wish they would at least walk straight to where you are. Instead of just standing out in the open. Like, huh, should I stand in front of these zombies? That sounds like a good idea. I'm just gonna stand in front of these zombies, guys. Yeah. You're a real help. Die already. Hooray, monies. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. I wonder if I'm gonna get a penalty for letting that moron die. There should never be penalties for letting morons die. They're morons. Why did you just shoot the barrier? <laughs> that, that was very random of you, sir. Oh, hey. I actually, I think I have to shoot stuff. Oh, there's a manhole there! I guess that's the exit. I thought you were supposed to walk back there. Oh, radio. Well, let's see if our awesome meter remains with us through the next level. Feeling awesome? Pretty much. Pretty much. Monster. Ooh! Monster released. Oh. No. Why does it say monster released if I didn't actually release any of them? Whatever. Oh, very good. I was afraid that my the other survivors would follow me the whole way through. It's like... I... I don't want that. Okay, let's run. Okay, there we go. And he's got a gun, which is amazing. Oh, hey. Is that, is that freaking Luigi? It's Luigi in shades of brown. Brown is the new color. You know, as far as a color of light, brown doesn't actually exist. Did you know that? It's really a shade of yellow. Uh, I think this is how I get to this guy. I can't even see you, buddy. Oh, wait. Um, was there a guy there, or was I seeing a zombie? Oh! Is that... Okay, I have solid snake, apparently. It's kind of awesome. Okay, here we go. Now that I have all of the incredibly incompetent survivors... You'd think at least snake could be okay. Yay, monster released. Angry zombie. Bitten by crazy monkeys. Uh oh, they're fast. It's a fast zombie. Haven't seen those since Left 4 Dead. I sort of like fast zombies as long as you have weapons that are worth a damn. This gun doesn't really count as worth a damn, though. Or if you have a chainsaw, chainsaws are always fun. Except for when the you have like eight seconds worth of gas left, which is how chainsaws usually are in video games. Alright, that's all the search items. 
Alright, good. I wish you could get these as you go through the level instead of having to rush and hope the survivors aren't murdered because they're idiots. Yay, shotgun. Which actually reduces my ability to kill things. They're almost... Hey! Whoa! Whoa! Oh. That was not hard at all. I thought he was supposed to be a boss. Maybe he's just a recurring enemy then. Die. The shotgun kind of sucks. I guess it's good if you're surrounded. But... Yeah. It's a video game shotgun, so it magically has absolutely no range. Which is... Santa! I... Solid Snake is apparently Santa. Sorry to let all you kids know, Santa isn't real. Snake killed him or something. So... We unlocked that guy. I guess maybe we'll randomly see these people super dead meat. I'm guessing that's gonna be Super Meat Boy. And who's this? Max Zombie. Oh. Lame. There, there will be more zombies. Oh well, this has been episode one of... What is this? Bite Jacker! We saved Snake. And, um... We saved Solid Santa. And, uh, Luigi. And this guy.